So I'm going to show you how to set up these uh, city count menus real quickly. Um, the, the instructions are pretty particular on this, so I'm going to I'm going to follow this really closely. I can see the URL has this blank in it, so uh, I'm going to switch that to show that blank spot. So let's do that, and let's save the menu. And then we're going to go over to widgets. And I think I saw it. Okay, so there's the city count menu. Let's go back and look what that menu is called. Okay, it's called cities. Also, don't think it will allow you. I don't know if I duplicated something there, but I'm going to put Tempe. I'll put Gilbert. In. Okay, so that's so it's showing two different uh, ones here. So it's called cities. Okay. So the menu is actually, instead of it being footer menu, it should be the one that says cities. So let's put that in there. And then uh, let's go over here and see what this looks like. So now if we go down to the footer, You can see that you're going to need to change probably some styling on this because it's the CSS is kind of crazy. But let me see if I can get this to select out. You can see here that Chandler works. It's showing 1100 and some. And Gilbert doesn't because it has that other search. So let's come back over here and put the the hashtag in there. And it may need to be, the cache may need to be cleared and all kinds of craziness uh, now at this point to make that to make that work properly. So let's uh, add a custom link. I'll just put this, I'll put Mesa. We'll add to menu and save it. We, we probably actually need to come up here and uh, clear the caches, purge all the caches too, so that it pulls it off the server. And there's actually another setting on WP Engine to clear that. So it's going to have to generate those. Um, somehow, I don't. It may take a few minutes or an hour or something to get those, but that's what it should look like, something like that. So that's how you set up city count menus.